starts now! Hi guys, it's Nick from Kicking Goals. And it's the final series now, so we're down to just eight teams. Can you believe it? This season has just gone so fast. It's just been a crazy season, and it's down to just the eight teams now. And the eight teams are into the finals are Sydney, Port Adelaide, Geelong, GWS, Brisbane, the Western Bulldogs, Hawthorne and Carlton. That's the top eight. So since there's no matches this week, I'm doing a different sort of video. I'm going to do the review of the week one AFL final series. So the, the four matches that are playing for next week, I'm going to talk about their history from 2000 to now. I'm not going to do before 2000 because it will take too long. But I'm going to do the finals matches from 2000 to now. So let's get on with the first match. The first match is between Sydney and GWS. The Sydney Derby. And oh boy, there has been some history between these two sides in finals. I remember in 2016, the first final was the qualifying final. And GWS, well, they won their first ever final. And they played in their first ever final that day as well. Like, it was a great day for GWS. They won by 36 points. You know, Jeremy Cameron kicked four goals that day. He kicked four behind. So, like, he could have easily had eight goals. But it didn't matter in the end because GWS were outstoppable. Especially in the second half. They were just running all over the Swans. And Buddy left goalless that day as well. Um, Phil Davis did a good job on him. And in the 2018 elimination final, Buddy was also goalless as well. The Giants absolutely destroyed them that day as well. And in 2021, whoa, this was the best out of the lot of them. You know, Buddy Franklin, he had the chance to win the game for the Swans with two minutes to go and he missed. And GWS won by a point in a thrilling game. It was a great game to watch. And Toby Green got suspended for seven matches that day as well for touching an umpire. So that's the history of Sydney and GWS in the finals. So the next match is between Port Adelaide and Geelong. And oh boy, Port Adelaide and Geelong. I mean, they've had some history in this modern era. You know, they've played five times against each other. First of them was in the 2004 qualifying final with Port Adelaide smashing Geelong by 55 points with Byron Pickett and Brandon Lade kicking four goals each. And in the 2007 grand final, Geelong won by 119 points with recording the biggest margin ever in a grand final. Can you believe it? With Steve Johnson winning the Norm Smith medal for being best of field, because he was really good that day. In the 2013 semi-final, Paul Chapman kicked four goals. He was basically the match winner, but he did also cop one match ban for striking Robbie Gray. And with 30 seconds to go in that game, Stephen Motlop kicked a goal from outside the 50 to seal the game, and they won by 16 points to go into the preliminary final, Geelong. But the highlight in that game was Justin Westhoff kicked an unbelievable goal from the boundary. It was like one of the goals of the year, basically. He was good in that match, and... Port Adelaide, they put on a bit of a fight near the end, but the highlight of the match was that Westhoff goal. So in 2020, in the qualifying final, there was only 15 minute quarters because um, that's where the pandemic started, the coronavirus. So Stephen Motlop kicked three goals against his old side in Geelong with Ollie Wines getting 24 disposals. Obviously, that wasn't that many in a game, but um, that was the best out of all the players. 
because they reduced the quarters from 20 minutes to 15 because um, of COVID. But the highlight of that match was Patrick Dangerfield from one end to the other. He had four bounces and he kicked one of the goals of the final series in a losing side. It was a really good goal. No one could catch him. And in 2021, um, Orazio Fantasia kicked four goals with Ollie Wines getting 33 disposals with Tom Hawkins playing his 300th game in that night also. But Port Adelaide destroyed Geelong that night. Now, another match is between the Western Bulldogs and Hawthorne. This is one of the elimination finals. So in 2008, um, Hawthorne smashed the Western Bulldogs to go into a home preliminary final. Um, Buddy Franklin, well, in his younger days, he kicked eight goals in that game, you know, he was outstoppable. He kicked over 100 goals in a season in that year as well. Like, that was the year of Buddy Franklin. Um, and the Hawks went on to win a famous premiership in that year as well. And in 2016, the Western Bulldogs broke a 58-year drought for winning consecutive finals. And they did it against Hawthorne after they won their free peak. Also, the Dogs broke a 62-year premiership drought in that same year. Now, the last match for the first week of the finals is between Brisbane versus Carlton in the elimination final. So, in this modern era, in 2000, Aaron Hamill kicked seven goals and Carlton smashed the Lions by 82 points in their semi-final in 2000. And it... In the 2009 elimination final, a few things happened. Um, first of all, Chris Judd faced a three-week suspension for striking Michael Riscatelli. Carlton were up by 30 points with 14 minutes to go, with the Lions coming back to win by seven points to go through to the semi-finals. Daniel Bradshaw kicked five goals, including one from the boundary line, which was one of the goals of the final series, and he basically won the game on his own boot. Just like 2009, Carlton had a 30-point lead with kicking the first five goals of the match, and the Lions came back and won by 16 points in the end to make the grand final. Sam Walsh got 33 disposals and was rewarded for player of the finals in that year as well. So the chances of each team winning a flag, I'm going to tell you right now. Sydney, uh, 80%. Port Adelaide, 75%. Geelong, 60%. GWS, 50%. Brisbane, 40%. The Western Bulldogs, 20%. Hawthorne, 35%. And Carlton, 10%. That's what I reckon. But I could be wrong. You never know. So, yeah, guys, um, good luck for your team. If, you, if your team is in the finals, hopefully they do well. Um, my team's made it, only just, but we got there in the end. Um, hopefully Carlton do all right in the finals. And thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Catch you, guys.